Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Still waiting for my gimbal to arrive, so what I thought we'd do today is take the top shell off and actually have a look inside and what makes a Phantom 2. So um, it's a very simple process. Each arm, there are about four screws to, uh, to, to undo. Uh, once you've done that, this top shell then very carefully lifts off. Um, if you've done what I've done and put the stickers on already, you just have to peel them back a little bit. You see I've done that already there, because the actual crease of the shell is just there. So um, you just need to gently peel them back and then very carefully take the lid off. So anyway, let's get this open and see what's inside. So like I said, probably one of the first things you want to do is just very carefully pull your stickers back a little bit or either just take them all off. Now, you need a Phillips for one of them and then the other three are Allen style keys. So let's go ahead and take those out. All right, once you've done all the screws, you need to very carefully just lift it back over and just watch where all your screws fall out because you're not going to lose any. That's all these screws accounted for. Right. Now, when you take this off, you will see the, the GPS module is at the top and there's that cable running down. So all we do is just very carefully pull that and then that's that free, but under there and what looks like a bit of shielding will be the GPS. Okay. Now that the top part of the shell's off, you can actually get the first look inside the actual Phantom, Phantom 2. Uh, the flight controller is actually just labeled Phantom. I believe this is just a standard um, Nazarem um, 2 flight controller. In the arms, each of the arms obviously the ESCs. I'm not too sure of the specs of those. Everything's quite nice and neatly tidy in there. It's there's also a little bit of room if you wanna, you know, if you wanna your um, on-screen display and stuff like that. You could probably get that tucked away nicely in there somewhere. And again, it probably doesn't. It's probably not going to be too difficult if you want to do some upgrades or swap any parts out. It's probably going to be quite nice and easy. So there we go. That is just a very quick look at the insides of the DJI Phantom 2. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to post them below. I'll do my best to answer those for you. As uh, soon as I get the uh, gimbal, I'll, uh, I'll do a quick unboxing and video of that. Uh, so remember to subscribe uh, and get to notified of uh, when that video uh, goes up. So thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.